once again, the West is on fire. Scorching forests, torching homes, and uprooting lives. But it's the people battling the blaze with the most to say about this worsening global crisis. I always knew there's a big risk of injury, but I just never thought it would happen to me. In May of this year, it did happen to him. After 15 years as a wildland firefighter, smoke jumper Ben Elkind lost control of a new parachute while training. Falling more than 20 feet, but miraculously landing on both feet. One of my legs, like, popped up and it just kind of broke out the back of my pelvis um, and dislocated my femur. For the first summer in a long time, Ben is home on the sidelines as fires ruin the nature that surrounds him. He and his wife, Amber, live here in Oregon with their two toddler boys. When he's gone, I'm responsible for finding childcare and for taking care of our children um, and for working. It feels nearly impossible to try to make all of that work and not have it collapse. But since he can't work, there is no overtime pay and Ben's family is barely making ends meet. This year, federal wildland firefighters received a temporary pay increase and a minimum wage guarantee of $15 an hour. We'll continue to go to bat. We, we recognize this is not uh, something that we can fix overnight. We really are here for the long run and we really are listening to our firefighters. It's part of an attempt to reform the current pay structure, which Ben says results in astronomical overtime hours, upwards of 1,000 in a single fire season. There's something else the 37-year-old discovered when he underwent a full-body CT scan, a nodule on his thyroid. How did it feel when he called you and told you that he had cancer? We were both pretty shocked about that. Moving forward, it's very difficult to have him continue in smoke jumping or firefighting, yeah. knowing that he's going to have exposure to smoke for another 15 years. This spring, Ben joined a group of firefighters for a meeting with Labor Secretary Marty Walsh. Shortly after that, cancer became a covered illness. Are you not required to get a mandatory check every year for cancer? No, I've never even heard of cancer being brought up, you know, officially at work. Wildland firefighters and their families come together during tough times, raising money and supporting loved ones when tragedy hits. But these grassroots efforts aren't a long-term solution. That's why Michelle Hart, who lost her smoke jumper husband Tim in a New Mexico fire last year, is fighting in Congress for lasting change. If I can make an iota of difference, on his behalf for the people that he loved, the people who kept him alive uh, after he had an accident that I had a chance to say goodbye. I, I owe that to them and I owe it to him. After having his broken hip pinned in place, Ben's already training for the next fire season. Okay, you you broke your pelvis, you've got cancer. Um, I don't really have any other option. I, I'm going to go back to work and I'm going to keep being exposed to more smoke. Are you concerned or hesitant that Ben will have to return to a job that put his life in danger? Yes. I am very, very hesitant um, after this experience. It was really eye-opening about what can happen. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.